do you know what? It's been such a busy day. I haven't even had a chance to remember to do this vlog. <laughs> it's just literally come to me now. Oh God, it's been a really full on day today. It's 7.36 p.m. I'm still in my office. Obviously I've got my pajamas and my favorite dressing gown on. I've had this dressing gown since I was in university and I still have it and I still love it. A really, really long full on day today. So I was with a client on site in their offices. So I was there like half eight, um, full on day. Didn't have a lunch break really because I had to ring my energy provider to talk about my ridiculously high renewal rate. And then I finished up there about four-ish, came straight back, had to record a video, edit it, send some stuff over for um, a website and being listed on. Quickly squeezing some dinner, which I've literally inhaled and come back up here to review a video that I've had edited on Fiverr. Guys, if you don't use Fiverr, you've got to. It's it's absolutely brilliant. I've got some courses that um, I've recorded on Zoom and they're just too long for me to edit. They're like two hours long. These videos are fine, but they're just too much. So um, I've got people doing that for me. So I'm having to review it and I've literally just finished and yeah, I haven't stopped and I've been up since six. And tomorrow is another full-on day. But I find I do this right. So I had my two wellness days, two consecutive weeks in a row. And I came into this week feeling really refreshed. But um, that's uncomfortable for me, which I know sounds ridiculous. But it is. It's a bit kind of like... Um, I feel like I need to be busier. I like thrive off feeling like I do at the moment, which is knackered. But yesterday I worked later... Today I've done it again and it's like I'm it's like a challenge or something. I don't know what it is. It's this like need to get tasks finished, even if it's not due for a bit, but also just push myself and push myself and thinking about how successful I can be and I don't know not always proving something to somebody. Sometimes it's just proving something to myself. Like how far can I push it today? How long can I work for? So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish up now. I need something else to eat. Didn't even give my body a chance to recognise I'd eaten then. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go and relax and chill and watch some TV for a little bit and try and wind down before bed. So it's blooming 10 to... Just gone 10 to 10. And, um, like, I obviously left a video earlier saying I was going to... Um, after I finished that work, like, chill... Well, I haven't ended up chilling. I came back downstairs. I, like, wolfed down some snacks. And then I thought, I know. I will set up a new business number so I can have a separate WhatsApp and WhatsApp business and get it all sorted. So I've been doing that for ages. And now I'm, like, wired because I've been, like, finishing tasks and getting stuff done. And um, I've just, like, cleaned the kitchen and stuff. Now I'm downloading music, listening to music in the kitchen, sending it to my friend. Go to fucking bed and bring yourself down and relax. So um, I think I'm gonna have to take some night talks. I feel like wired. Or the better thing to do would probably be to meditate actually, just to bring myself down. But um, I don't know why I do it to myself. Like, I need to go to bed. I cannot wait to get in this. I've got shit loads of stress reliever um, bubble bath. <laughs> um, I'm still in my gym kit. Haven't showered since the gym. Disgusting, aren't I? Haven't had time, really. But yeah, um, really... Um, oh, let me talk to the actual camera. Just like a little bit of um, a tiring day, really full on. Got loads done. A um, little bit um, stressful towards the end of the day. Um, and I've just, I've been in this house a lot this week because the weather's been really shit. I'm feeling a bit like fed up, a bit kind of um, trapped. I did go and work at Starbucks this morning, which was really fun. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit, I feel a bit moody to be honest with you. So I'm gonna have a nice bath, read a book. Um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I'm doing lots of business development. Um, so that'll be a nice change from what I've been doing most of this week. So, I'm, um, yeah, and I'm going to see my nieces and nephews tomorrow night after work, which I'm excited for. Um, yeah, I just need to, like, get out of my little funk, have a bit of a relax, try and get an early night. That's probably a bit of a problem because I'm tired. And um, tomorrow, 
go and work somewhere different for a bit because I'm driving myself a bit nuts in this house because the weather's crap. I haven't been able to get out for walks. So, um, yeah, that's me today. I finished editing my October vlog yesterday and I don't think I realised actually how much of a therapeutic experience it would be. It was just, it was nice because I was kind of reliving key moments from the previous month. But also, like, I'm really working hard at the moment. This isn't just a work thing, just in my personal life, of trying to be more vulnerable and open about how I feel and what I struggle with and not feeling so much shame. I can be really kind of, like, hard on myself and, like, oh, why did you do that? You're so stupid. And um, why did you do that? Like, that client's not going to be happy or you're not doing a good enough job for the people you train. Like, these are the thoughts I constantly have. I'm realising that, actually, A, this is quite therapeutic in terms of the film in itself because I'm letting things out. And I think I'll get better and more vulnerable over time. Um... But also it's therapeutic for me to watch it back and realise actually you are doing a good job. But also, you know, the days where maybe I have struggled, just reflect on those days and, you know, that it's OK to feel like that. I'm just obsessed, I think, with like making, you know, you've got to feel good every day. Every day's got to be perfect. But it, life's not like that. And sometimes I need to let myself experience the negative emotions um, to deal with that. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid to, um, well, that would be a lie, it's uncomfortable for me to admit it, but I'm not ashamed of it as such, is um, that I, I'm having counselling at the moment to help me be more vulnerable. Um, I love it, to be honest. I've had counselling before. It's so nice, you can just offload, and it feels safe to do it for me. Like, I feel I can be vulnerable in those sessions. Me just saying that just then is a mass like for some people they might think like it's just a sentence you've just said but for me to say that on a platform like youtube is making myself very vulnerable so i am gonna make it my personal mission to be as vulnerable as i can in these vlogs because there's other people experiencing the same things and it kind of helps you realize there's other people out there and gives you some sort of connection with people doesn't it so that's my thought for a Thursday morning. Do you know what? I am absolutely fucking livid this morning. Said I was going to be open and honest on this vlog, and I fucking am. One thing that really fucking gets me is being taken... When I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. And I decided to make an investment in my business. Um, I don't know, July, August time. Because I've got this YouTube channel, it's a lot of work. I enjoy it, but I felt like my business is growing and I need some help. So through a recommendation, I got in touch with somebody to help me manage my YouTube channel. Maybe I was too naive, but, you know, got on with the person, sold me all this stuff he could do, and I was really excited. And all started off well, went to his place to film all the stuff, and then as soon as I left, the problem started. So the videos were meant to go one a week, um, one being a, vl a vlog type thing, three educational, um, and it literally took over a month for the first edit to get to me, so we're already behind, um, and, and basically I've spent £400 and nothing's been delivered, and we're now in November and I'm still waiting for the third video to be posted when one was meant to go every week, starting in August. So it's massively slowed down the growth of my channel. The marketing agency I deal with, it's wasted posts that we had sectioned off for my videos. Oh, it's driving me nuts. I mean, <laughs> I wish I could say that's why my hair is like this. Frazzled. It's not. Um... I'm just fucking fuming and I'm somebody that likes quality in things and I'm getting to the point where I don't even want to post this final video. Fuming. I just had to have a little rant. Really sorry for the offensive language, guys, but I am just livid. Livid. Ran over, but I am so mad. I've just watched... Um, I've calmed down now, by the way. I've just watched my little rant from earlier. God, I was livid. So mad. But I've calmed down now, it's Friday night, um, I'm going out for a meal with my family um, to one of our favourite Italians. I'm so excited, I absolutely love Italian food and I literally am starving. I've made sure that like I'm absolutely starving because I'm having like three courses of the lot, right? Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. I haven't seen my parents since 
oh god it must be like beginning of september because they live in greece for some of the year so yeah it's gonna be really nice fun night a chance to unwind from the week and i've actually got makeup on you're probably thinking how different i look thought i'd make a little bit of an effort for the meal tonight but i have recovered from the rant this morning but as it stands still the video is not done so we go into next week the saga continues so I finally made it out the house. I'm with my neighbour and friend Liz. We've come out for a walk. There's a little break from work. This is one of my favourite places to go walk, the fields by my house. we got Tinks with us. There she is. Getting some nice fresh air and a break. I've had an, uh, sorry, excuse the kettle noise. I've had a nightmare today, so I've been trying to get, um, we're doing my, I'm loading my first vlog onto YouTube. Um, does my internet want to play ball? No. I tried loading it onto my hard drive, exporting it earlier. It said like a two hour wait. Finally, I've got it to work where it goes straight onto YouTube. It's only just loaded. It's half six. Really, I should be finishing and relaxing for the evening now, but I just want to get it loaded. Wish me luck, because I've got to do all the captions and thumbnails and all the fiddly stuff. So um, I'm going to stick the TV on. I'm going to stick my food on now to cook. I'm starving. And see how I get on. So um, one of my friends, who's also my PT, he sent me, or him and his girlfriend were telling me about these um, this music they've started listening to when they're working. They've both got their own businesses that helps you focus. Because um, I was always listening to quite relaxing music, like um, the waves or like morning song type stuff, which is lovely and relaxing. But I can't say it was massively helping me focus. So they were like, I'll give it a go, and Phil sent me a couple of um, links, and it's fucking amazing. The focus and attention, right? It's basically, I think they call it iso isochronic beats or something like that. Um, if anyone watching this wants the links, to just contact me. Um, there's a guy on YouTube. I'm sure there's lots of people that do it, but he sent me this guy on YouTube he's been listening to, because we both like dance music. So it's basically listening to some really good house music or, like, techno music with this... In the background, you can't, you can just about hear it, but not notice it a lot. Like the brainwave music that helps you focus. And the work that I'm getting done um, and the focus I've got is insane. Like I'm finishing stuff so much quicker. And it almost, when you turn the music off, you realise you've been in a bit of a trance with it. It's, it's absolutely mental. But yeah, it's like helped me work through stuff a lot quicker. Not that I'm rushing, the quality's still there. But my focus is, like, insane. So it's Tuesday. Um, it's, like, quarter past eight. Just got home from my sister's. I literally haven't stopped today. So I was in my office about quarter past seven. Um, I went to stop for lunch at 12, but then I had to have a meeting with my accountant. And then I've gone and worked in Starbucks this afternoon. I've had lunch and stuff. Then I've gone straight to my sister's from um, from Starbucks and... It's lush there, but obviously it's like a little bit hectic and stuff. But um, yeah, just think I've pushed it a little bit too much the last couple of days, maybe even the last week. And I could feel myself at my sister's when I was talking about work stuff. Some of it good, just get like my anxiety levels raising and almost feeling on the verge of a panic attack, which isn't good. But yeah... This is the harsh reality of it, really, because I do this to myself, basically. And I don't know why I do it sometimes. And um, it's hard because, like, in reality, I could probably do with having a day off tomorrow. But, like, there's something in my head that tells me you shouldn't have the day off, like, you've got a business to run and... It's really sad because it overshadows a lot of the positive stuff that happens on a day-to-day -day basis that I just don't see. And, like, if I think about today, like, I've worked my fucking ass off. Like, I spent all morning on business development stuff. I've got some great meetings booked in. Had a brilliant chat with an agency owner who somebody recommended me to about potential business. Found out my first full tax year of the business and made a brilliant profit. Like, for somebody to make a profit in their first year of business is great. And then one email from a client I read when I get to my sister's, which is causing me 
some stress at the moment just spoils it all and it's all I can think about and focus on and it gets me like honestly I felt when I read that email so anxious I can't focus on anything else I couldn't enjoy the time with my nieces and nephews because all I'm thinking about is responding to this email and dealing with the issue and (sighs) I suppose this is what it's like having a business but when you put this much pressure on yourself all the time And now I've just got home. I'm absolutely starving. I need to do my dinner. I've got to put the bins in the recycling out. I've got four fucking parcels to post for vintage stuff I've sold. I can't leave it till tomorrow because I already feel like I've posted them late. It's the second day in a row I've not had any downtime. Yesterday I went to the gym, but it's not really downtime, is it? So, yeah. I know, logically, I should get up a bit later tomorrow. And take it easy, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll let you know if I've been successful with that. Not feeling um, amazing. What have I got on my face? Is it porridge? Oh, blooming protein. Ah. Yeah, not feeling amazing this morning. Just a bit anxious. I'm just going to take it a bit slow today. Just having my coffee. Usually I'd go and sit up in my office and drink it while I start working, but I'm not this morning. I'm just going to sit down here. I'm going to do a... kind of relax and meditation in a minute and then um, just take a bit of a slower pace today. I've got loads done the last couple of weeks so there's no need for me to be putting the pressure on. I'm gonna have a relaxing evening, have a bath and chill because I haven't done that this week yet and that's a problem. I haven't had any downtime really. I always do this to myself and it needs to stop. I need to be kind to myself and I need to realize I am doing enough. So I'll report back later. I've just been listening to some... I've come downstairs to work. Just some check-in through, like, um, content calendar stuff for my social media platforms. And I wasn't feeling good at all, to be honest with you. Just couldn't shake the anxiety. So um, I think I mentioned I was listening to some of those, like, Focus Isochronic or something beats. And a couple of them on there are anti-anxiety. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll put one of those on and I'll just go work my way through this stuff just try and relax a bit and literally feel like a different person. Just calm down a lot, no anxiety. But I think I've had a bit of an epiphany, like a light bulb moment, and I've realised that actually what creates the anxiety a lot for me is not its not the certain scenarios that happen to me. It's actually me being tired and overworked. And because my body is tired and is just like... I'm pushing it too much. It hasn't got the resistance to deal with certain things and it's it's giving me that anxiety feeling, telling me to slow down and to stop. And this is what I didn't pick up on years ago now when I had that panic attack when I was in my old job um, in Edinburgh Airport, which isn't ideal when you're about to get on a plane and you're scared of flying. <laughs> um, literally thought I was dying. It was because my my body was like, right enough, like you need to stop. And I think it's just my body giving me those signs like we need a break. Yeah, I get a bit emotional actually remembering about um, that experience because it's it's just so sad that I do this to myself. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm feeling much better. I've just made a nice cup of tea. Um, I'm really looking forward to having my hair done because I feel gross. I haven't washed my hair for days. I'm in my gym clothes still. I'm going to come back from the hairdressers, have a bath and have a really nice relaxing evening. Ready to hit tomorrow with a bang. Learned a very big lesson this week about um, how important it is that I rest because especially when I watch the videos back from like the last couple of days, like I was literally nearly in tears. Um, Just like doing too much. Like, even on the weekends, like, not having downtime enough, you know? I feel so much better today for just taking a slower pace yesterday, working less hours. I had a lovely relaxing evening, did no work in the evening, had my hair done, which was nice. I didn't realise how tired I was. I literally was probably asleep by nine, tried to read a book in bed and I was gone. And I think I have such an adrenaline rush all the time, I don't feel as tired as I actually am. So, yeah, I think um, I feel much better today. Much better. I just didn't have any motivation to work yesterday, which isn't like me at all. Like, that dread feeling. I have had a lot of stressful stuff going on with the business. Problems with an old accountant that I was using. Loads of issues. 
the stuff I was ranting about last week, the YouTube stuff, and it just is constantly on my mind and a bit of, you know, anxiety and stress around some other client stuff going on. It just piles on top of you. So, yeah, I think it's just being kinder and having a break. So one of the things I've got wrong this week is I haven't been out for, well, the last two weeks is I haven't been out for any walks. So um, I've just, I've gone, finished in the gym, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go out for a nice walk. I mean, it's really dark. Actually loving it, it's a bit spooky. Um, but there's no one around, and it's so nice, and I just realized I need to keep doing this every week. This is why I've been, feeling the way I've been feeling the last couple of days. I've been stuck inside for what feels like weeks now. So yeah, just start for a lovely walk down the fields. Heading back home. Finishing the week, exhausted, feeling much, much better. But I am so tired, it's, it's hit me this week. I don't work Friday afternoons anyway. I've done my little chores I need to do. I've got a cuppa. I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna start watching Lost again. I never finished it when I watched it years ago. So I'm gonna watch Lost for a few hours. I'm going over friends later for a catch up, nothing crazy. But um, I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit and watch a series of my cuppa. After a difficult week last week and feeling a bit funny, I've started the Monday feeling really, really good. So at the morning this morning with a client and three new recruits, they're all brilliant. Um, I just love being in the training room, helping people, just love it. Just come home, I'm gonna have some lunch, gym, and then I've got some YouTube stuff to do um, this afternoon. And I'm gonna make sure I go out for a walk or if it's raining, go to the beach and read a book because the difference that that seems to make to my day is huge. And that is a mistake I made last week. So yeah, feeling back to normal, not so loopy. I don't wanna use that word actually, not loopy. Just I just felt strange last week. You can probably tell from the difference in the clips. But yeah, I'm feeling so much better um, and rested, which is good as well. So good start to a Monday. I've realized I haven't really been vlogging much that week, um, this week. I think I've made a really conscious effort to really look after myself. So less screen time um, outside of work as well. What I've done is set tasks I wanna do and once I've finished them, I've just finished work. I've not been like, right, what else can I do? What else can I do? Because I'm on top of a lot of my work at the moment. In the evenings, instead of just sitting in front of the TV, I've been meditating, I've been going out for a walk, I've been reading, and as a result, I'm actually ready for bed a lot earlier. So I've fallen asleep by nine, half nine. And I'm just feeling so much more refreshed in the mornings and ready to go and clear headed. Um, my brain is able to think of more ideas. I don't know, I'm just, it's been a real epiphany for me the last couple of weeks. Like, what am I doing to myself? Like, I wouldn't treat somebody else the way I treat myself sometimes. And I wouldn't want to see somebody being treated like that. So why am I doing it to myself? It's madness, really. And then today, I'm um, I'm traveling up to Surrey this afternoon to stay in a hotel tonight, which a client has kindly paid for me for. Um, so I'm not gonna do any work. I'm gonna make the most of it relax, have some nice room service, go for a nice walk in the grounds. And then tomorrow, I'm delivering a workshop and um, a presentation at a team event which I'm really excited about in Surrey. And then it's home and I'm off Friday because I've got a wellbeing day. A little bit nervous about tomorrow. I always get a little bit apprehensive about these things. I'm fine once I'm there, but I just want to do a good job. But ultimately I enjoy it when I'm there. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. So my hotel's, hotel's lush um, and really lovely surprise. So I forgot that I've got friends that live like half an hour, 20 minutes away. I haven't seen them probably since... April. I'm really excited because I'm going over there for food. Lovely little last minute surprise. Um, I was going to eat in the hotel on my own. It's, it is a really nice hotel. But um, yeah, they've offered to cook for me. So I'm going to go over there and catch up with them. I've just caught up on some work. I was going to go for a little walk, but it's tipping it down with rain now. Because it's such... A, those hotels on lovely ground. But um, yeah, like... Something in me is like, no, stay in your hotel room, you need to go over your presentation, but it's something I've presented before and I never normally um, around here, so it'd be stupid not to go and see them. So yeah, really looking forward to it. So it's the morning, I've got my um, presentation and, God, the light in this room is bloody awful. 
um, presentation and um, like workshop I'm delivering today. But um, normally I would have like had a read over the presentation I've delivered before and the training I've done all the time. But yeah, I'm meeting somebody for breakfast this morning and I didn't get back from my friends till late last night. So I'm a bit like, ah, oh, not that bad. I'd be lying if I said I was really nervous. I'm not, it'll be fine. But I always find with me, once I get there and start speaking to people, I'm fine. It's like the build up. I'm sure it will all go well and I'll be reporting back later on how excited I am about it and, you know, the usual basically. So yeah, I will catch up with you all later. I've been ter- oh sorry, got yoga on me. I've been terrible at vlogging this week. Um, I'm going away with the girls today to um, a lodge in West Wales, so this counts as my wellness day, I'm really excited. So um, I didn't get back from Surrey till late last night, it went really, really well. Um, so this morning's been getting a gym session in, food shop, packing, um, I'm quickly just putting my out of office on, responding to a couple of emails and then I'm leaving. So. Don't know if I'll get to lot vlog much while I'm away. Um, I'll try to. There'll be lots of alcohol, lots of drinking. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to a nice girly weekend. I had a wicked weekend with my friends. Feeling gross this morning because just drank a weekend and ate crap. Today I was with, um, in with a client. It was so lush actually. They put all their Christmas decorations up. So that was really cool. And then tonight I've just been like rushing back. Catching up on jobs I didn't get to do while I was away. Gym food prepping food for tomorrow but my energy levels are feeling really good actually this week um i just feel like i've been a lot more kinder to myself the last week and it's really paying off so we'll see how i go this week but um i'm going to bed feeling refreshed considering i've been on it all weekend yeah looking forward to seeing how the week goes so i'll keep you posted just enjoying my morning coffee before going in to a client in Cardiff to do some coaching sessions this morning. I'm trying not to let this like anxiety slip in. I swear like you get PTSD when you've got a business. Something bad will happen to you that's really difficult to deal with. And like you do get over it, but like there's always that worry that it might happen again. So I've just like um, signed a new client and um, basically they're late paying their invoice and they've explained why. But um, in my mind, I'm still like, what if they're lying? What if they're lying? What if they don't pay you? And do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm trying to fight those voices in my head to be like, look, you can't base things that happen on things that happened before. You've got measures in place to sift out the, ba the baddies, you know, the dodgy clients. You know, your gut and logic tells you they're not one. But it's hard sometimes because you still can't kind of fight the the anxiety, the thoughts sometimes. So, yeah, I think coupled with the problems I've had with my old accountant, the video YouTube person that's let me down, which has caused me so much stress, like the tension I've got in my neck and my shoulders. I can't wait to have a sports massage later. Um... Then when you add this on top, that's when I start getting really tense. I woke up this morning, I must have been so tense in my sleep. My neck is seized up. So um, I'm sure it will be fine. I'll probably be leaving you a message in like a day saying it's cleared. But this is like the roller coaster that I go through. I'm proud of myself actually because because the weather's been getting worse. I've not been going out walking as much. Like I got into a really lovely routine. No end of October, I think it was. I'm losing track now. Um, so I want, I, I felt, I know when I need to get outside, I just have, I just have this really different feeling about myself. I don't feel as connected to life. I can't, I can't describe it. So I thought today, like I've had two and a half days in an office with a client this afternoon, I had a few things to do, but mainly been in my office. So I was like, right. Nice, lovely walk, you know, it'd be lovely. It's been shit weather today, like hammering it down, hail, rain. And I finished work and I nearly stopped myself and just thought, oh, I'll just do a meditation instead or something. And I was like, no, you've got a coach, you've got waterproof trainers, go outside. So, and I didn't, it doesn't need to be a long walk, so I left my phone here, otherwise I would have vlogged on the walk. Not a long walk, but, you know, around the block a little bit. Felt like the fresh air, the wind just cleared my head a little bit and it was quite nice walking in the dark and just feel really good for it. So I'm glad I did it and I need to force myself to do it more often because I can't sit inside all the time. It drives me insane. Just enjoying my coffee this morning. 
God, my hair is so curly at the moment. I listened to a podcast and I just had like a little thought. I think like I put so, and there might be other people, there probably is other people that do this, but I put so much pressure on myself to feel like amazing every day. So like really fresh and alive, really positive, really happy. I think if I don't feel like that, I feel either worried or I don't know, I put pressure on myself to make myself feel like up here again. And I don't know, I feel like today, like I'm just a little bit tired. I've got things in the day I feel like I should be excited about, but I'm kind of like neither here nor there. This morning I was like, oh no, like why aren't I excited about these things? And, you know, kind of overthinking it. And then I thought like, why does it matter? Like you're not meant to feel amazing every day. Just let your feelings be and take each moment as it comes through the day. Like, don't be thinking too far ahead and thinking like, oh God, like, what if I'm not feeling amazing by later? Who cares? Like, you're not going to have amazing days every day. Like, that is normal. It's Friday. I've had a really good day today. I got up at seven, got dressed, had breakfast and just left and went to Starbucks to work. Um, and was so productive. Got all my prep done for training next week. Um, did some business development, which was really, really fun. Um, do you ever get dressed in the morning when you're tired and then come round three hours later and realise you look like a tramp? Because that is me today, seriously. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, and then I've finished at 12 on a Friday, so I've gone in, done my food shop. I've just got home. Going to um, unpack, have my lunch, go to the gym. And then I quite fancy putting my Christmas decorations up, so I'm going to get them down from the loft. And just have a really chilled night, cook a nice meal. I was beating myself up yesterday and the day before because... When I'm training people face to face, for some reason, I don't count it fully as work. I know that sounds ridiculous. I was having a really good chat with a client of mine yesterday and he said, you know what? I feel like I'm not working unless I'm at a laptop. And it clicked with me that it, shit, that is me. That is exactly what I do. So I'm trying to be kind to myself and realise I'm still working if I'm not on my computer. But I've really enjoyed this week doing lots of meditations, lots of reading, less TV and screen time in the evenings after work. I feel really good for it, actually. So I'm looking forward to this weekend. I'm going to the rugby tomorrow. I'll take some videos for you. Sunday, um, finish the Christmas decorations, go for a walk. End of November, um, yeah, with my well-being intact, which is good. So, yeah, end of a good week. I'm reflecting a little bit tonight, actually. I filled one of these in every morning and every night since 2020. Look at my Christmas pyjamas. And I love it. They're brilliant. It's... um. Yeah, intelligent change if you want to get one. And basically what you do every day, this is all like the intro. I'm trying to see if you can see. You do things like, at the end of the day, you write things like what you learnt. Um, that's in the night. And then in the morning, you write things like th three things you're grateful for. Um three things that would make the day great, like things you want to achieve, just stuff like that, really. Oh, yeah, you write a daily affirmation as well. And then, yeah, in the night, sorry, you write, like, highlights of the day, um, what you learned, stuff like that. So I've been doing this for a long time now, and I love looking back, like, from the year before and seeing how far you come. But um, this one in particular, funny that it's a black colour. I usually buy, like, a hessian colour chose black this time and I would say this colour reflects how difficult the last six months have actually been and this five minute journal has probably seen the most up and downs with the business, my emotions, my life basically. Um, some really, really, really tough times and I was just looking back so I'm about to come to the end of this one. So I've got another one waiting for me, which I've chosen to go for blue, because I'm trying to open my throat chakra a little bit more. For anybody that is into that will know what I mean. Be more open, be more me. So I thought, well, I'll go for blue. That's where I've got my um, blue um, incense thingy. My blue, dif my diffuser, my room diffuser is set to blue. God, I can't bloody speak. Just, just looking back today and realising how far I've come in the last six months and how bloody tough it's been. And I, it does make me sad. I look back at some of these 
and I remember how much of a difficult time I was having. But when I fast forward to here, I think, you know what, it's so amazing like how quickly things can turn around. Where you are in the now is not where you're always going to be, but how you, what you do with the now kind of determines your future. So yeah, feeling a little bit spiritual and philosophical this evening, but I'm going to now read my book. Just finishing off this book. It is bloody brilliant. I love Jahan Hari. So if anyone is looking for recommendations, 100% read this book. And I'm about to start another one of his called Lost Connections. Um, it's a bit battered this is because I took it on holiday with me so um, but yeah this is absolutely brilliant this book amazing <laughs> proper roller coaster day today um I just find in a um, couple of days a week now being with a client really full on and some of it's what I put on myself but you know being out of the house most of the day cramming in life around it I can't I literally forget what it was like to work nine to five Monday to Friday from an office because I haven't done it for so long I worked from home for years so I'm kind of like getting home eating getting a gym session in. Like tonight, I had to do things like change my bed sheets, put a wash on, stuff like I hadn't had time to do. Like, honestly, late payments just really stress me out from clients. Because um, I'm, you know, a small business, my cash flow is important. I haven't got loads of money coming in all the time. You know, it's getting to the end of the month, I need to pay myself, I've got loads of outgoings coming, and I've just got a new client that's not paying me. I've had this before but not exactly the same situation. Um, it's hard to know. It's, you never get completely comfortable with dealing with it, I think. Um, and I've had to go to somebody I know with a business for advice just to make sure I don't kind of do anything too rash. But um, ultimately, it all stems down to me just wanting to get rid of my anxiety because it gives me such bad anxiety that, like, I couldn't sleep properly last night. Like, I literally woke up twice in the night just desperate to wake up and see it go in my bank because they told me it'd be today and it hasn't gone in so you know my logical mind now is telling me it's not going to happen I'm not going to end up working with them it's straight it's strange how people go about things I could wake up tomorrow and it goes in my bank but it's left me a little bit panicky so yeah all of it piled up resulted in me basically bursting into tears when I got back from the gym because I just piled way too much on myself today. Haven't didn't even have a lunch break to work through my lunch. Um, cried for about forty five minutes, and then ate loads of food. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a bit better now. I've just got a really fun on week before I have four days off going to London on Friday, which will be amazing. But the run up's just going to be a bit hellish. I have to say. As days can go, this has been a pretty shitty day. A couple of days, to be honest. I can't remember when I've last seen a video now, but I know I've been talking about like a bit of stress I've had with um, a client not paying. Well, today they've decided they're going to back out of what they agreed and they don't want to do the work anymore. So, um, yeah. It's just, these are the really shitty bits of having a business where... You finally think you can breathe and your head's above water. And it's not. I've just got so... I've just had... I, I am literally just fucking fed up. I need a break. I'm tired. I've had so much anxiety the last week. I'm literally exhausted. I just could do with, like, some help and support. And, um... I just don't have it. <laughs> just trying to juggle everything on my own gets quite difficult I literally just spent hours crying last night because I was just so stressed so it's a it's a relief in a way to like know what's going on but I don't know what people get out of messing you around with stuff like this I'm just kind of like feeling like so stupid because I did that post the other day about you know looking back at the six months and now I'm in a better place and I feel like I'm going back to how exactly what I felt like it's springtime um 
the pressure's on, you know, with money again. And um, it just makes me really anxious. So I've just got to go work my way through it like I do with all the other fucking challenges that get thrown my way. Seriously, today can just absolutely do one. I absolutely hate spiders. So it's the last day of the month. Remembered I promised I'd do um, a reflection. As you can probably tell by the way I look, this has been a fucking hard month. Um, I've had a really horrible... I'm not lying to you on these vlogs, right? As you can probably tell from the post as well, I've had a really horrible... Especially the last couple of days, I felt really, really low. Very teary, just stressed, anxious, everything rolled into one. This is the reality sometimes of being a business owner. I think sometimes why I find it so hard is um, just because I'm fighting this battle on my own in a way and um, everything's on me. But at the same time, that's what makes it so exhilarating. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, I'm nearly at the end of my second year and... I had a chat with um, a, um, a potential client, but somebody I know um, today on Zoom and reminded me that only 80% of businesses make it through the first year and I'm coming to the end of my second. So I think, do you know what? Like, need to actually give myself on the pat a pat on the back about that. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on all of that. What really pulled me out of it and made me feel better was a few things. So speaking to an ex-colleague who I've stayed really close to was a lifesaver. Um, who's also a business owner now. Um, just somebody that understands. And what else has helped? Well, going to my sister, spending time with my nieces and nephew, just really pulled it out, it out of me tonight. Little things like Spotify. You know, at the end of the year, it posts you like top artists, makes a little playlist for you. So I've been listening to all my favourite songs, getting ready for bed. I'm just thinking, do you know what? I will make this business work and yes that ex-client has fucked me about but they weren't meant to work with me and they don't deserve to work with me I'm fucking good at what I do I love what I do I'm passionate about what I do and if th people don't respect and realize that then they're lost so I kind of I'm ending the month fighting determined to make December an amazing month end the year and celebrate my successes for once but I am proud of myself for sharing the emotions that I've been going through because I never used to be like this so it's quite a big thing for me to um to be doing this so I'm going to write in my journal I'm going to keep listening to some music and do a meditation going to go to bed and wake up tomorrow fresh new day new month um i'm going to make it work oh.